Have you ever wondered about the best way to maintain a good relationship? What keeps a relationship active and healthy? While it's important to have good chemistry with someone, it's also important to put in work and effort into your relationship. It can get difficult at times, so it's important you and your partner have good habits in your relationship for it to grow and flourish. Before we begin, we'd like to mention that while this video covers some features of healthy relationships, it's normal that not everyone fulfills all these points. It is also possible that there may be some methods out there that this video did not mention. With that said, Psych2Go shares with you 8 healthy habits of a relationship. Number 1. You show your affection. Are you able to be vulnerable with your partner? Closeness and trust often go hand in hand. Hand-holding, hugging, cuddling, and kissing are all engagements of physical contact that may help reassure each other of your love for each other. It's a silent and implicit way to let your partner know you're there for them and that you love them. Number two, you're able to communicate with each other. Are you comfortable communicating with your partner? Holding judgment and keeping an open mind is important for you to engage in an honest conversation with them. Instead of letting your unresolved feelings fester up inside, it's important to cultivate a safe space where both of you are unafraid to speak up about problems in your relationship. Number three, you emotionally bond with them. Are you able to laugh together or talk about your feelings with each other? Any strong relationship needs a solid foundation of emotional bonding. Whether it's by laughing and being silly together or having deep discussions about life, being able to be emotionally intimate with your partner is really important and a good sign of a healthy relationship. Number four, you make up after arguments. Are you stubborn at times and refuse to make up after a fight? Or do you own up to your mistakes and go the extra mile to make things okay? It's important to learn how to make amends with your partner after an argument. Fighting is what produces distance and often leads to breakups. So a strong relationship involves not holding grudges and a willingness to admit when you're wrong. Number five, you appreciate each other. Do you tell your partner how special they are and how much they mean to you? Having mutual respect and appreciation is one of the keys to maintaining a healthy relationship. It can be easy to take someone for granted and forget to show them how much you care. So, it's important to be thankful and appreciate all the things you do for each other to maintain a healthy relationship. Number six, you see a future together. Do you actually see a future with your partner? Knowing that you'll always be together through thick and thin and maintaining that kind of faith is a big deal. Life throws curveballs often when you least expect them, so being able to count on your partner to be there by your side every step of the way is important for a strong relationship. Number seven, you balance housework. Do you do all the chores in the house? Whether it's about doing chores or running errands, balance is key in a relationship. Maybe you're more experienced in cooking than your partner, so maybe they could wash the dishes or vacuum the floor instead. If housework or tasks that should be done by the both of you are always being completed by only you or your partner, feelings of resentment may arise and cause problems in your relationship. Number eight, you give each other personal space. Do you have time and space for yourself that is away from your partner? While closeness and intimacy are important in a relationship, it's also crucial to have boundaries. Despite having a close connection, you and your partner also need personal space as well. Too much time together may lead to feelings of frustration or resentment. Therefore, a healthy relationship requires a balance between the time you spend yourself and with your partner. Are you in a relationship? What habits do you form to make it last? Psych2Go would love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with others who may find it helpful too.